Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Logan and Chase podcast show with your hosts, Logan and Chase. We're going to talk about baseball. Yeah. Playoffs coming up. Baseball. Gotta love baseball. Give our World Series predictions. Oh, yeah. Talk about some teams. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about some World Series predictions here later in the show. Right now, we're just going to, like, rant on some stuff that's been going on. Oh, I just watched this. I mean, I'm just bouncing around right now, Chase. All right, you cool with that? Yeah. All right. So... There's this uh, issue coming up right now. Uh, you've probably seen it on ESPN, uh, Sport. I don't know all these. You know, even news. The news was co- uh, Fox was covering this issue on the Nets going down the right field and left field line. Have you seen anything about the heard anything about this? I fans this year has been more fans ever getting smacked with bats and baseballs this season. Isn't that crazy? They were pretty bad, too. Have, you didn't see anything on I didn't this? see anything on that. Man, I just saw something the other... I mean, I can't believe you didn't see it. Um, so, Todd Frazier... Yeah, Todd Frazier. Yeah, hit... He roped one uh, down. Who are they playing? I forget. But he roped one down third base line, and it smacked this little girl in the face. They couldn't show it on um, anymore. They only they didn't really show it because you know camera switching to the baseball real quick in the field. You know it's you can't see the ball when it's going that fast. Yeah. So everybody started ducking. Like um, uh, Todd Frazier started kneeling down and everything. Everybody was wondering what was going on, and they showed the replay not of her getting hit, but like people rushing over to her and stuff. This little girl was sitting between like her dad. I don't know if her mother was there, but there was another guy beside her, and the guy. Um, which was a fan sitting beside him. The ball went blazing into the stands. Must have hit her. She must have real quick. And the uh, fan beside them, the dad thought, okay, he just picked her back up and didn't see. And the fan started waving his hand over. And apparently it was bad. Her like face was busted up. There was blood going all down her face and everything. And this was like a, um, gosh, I didn't, I didn't look anymore. Curly headed girl just sitting there watching. And and Frazier. Um, walked over there and just knelt down and, and they he paused the whole game was paused until they got her help and the, they had to put her uh well the dad carried her up and they had to put her on like a stretcher and take her yeah, to the that's, hospital that's true yeah but uh I, I watched the news the next day and they said um she was in she was okay but she that's had good. yeah i didn't i didn't see that when was that the other night i i would have thought i would have saw that uh yankees todd frazier <laughs> this comes from the daily news uh, by Mike Mazio. It says Todd Frazier got some peace of mind now um, after he smacked a 105 mile an hour fastball or fastball foul ball and it hit her right in the face. And it says here um, Frazier said he's she's doing okay. They can't really get much detail about it. Someone told him not to stress over it. Um, they said, we understand how upset you are. Oh, it was the father that told him. Uh, she can get out of the hospital here soon, hopefully. Um, they're going to do tests on her on her face and stuff. Hopefully it's not, she needs like reconstruction or anything. But I don't think she does. They're just 105, doing, that's... Yeah, but it hit, and she's a little girl, like five yeah. or six, and hit her square in the face it's bad and Frazier said uh, he, he he didn't let up he just he just sat, wanted to know if she was okay you know I'm sure he'll pay her yes. there'll be there'll be a little thing they'll probably a special event and he'll yeah. go see her and stuff I'm sure um but he kneeled down uh, and it was in the fifth inning on, on Wednesday at the Yankee Stadium it was at it was at Yankee Stadium and this has raised an alarm for many teams and it's been raising an alarm for many teams this is uh, uh this season there was a uh, broken bat at Fenway Park smashed a fan in the face everybody kneeled down and got down and it was like everybody put their hands on their head because that's even worse when you have a broken bat coming in there's all kinds of stuff that could happen with that people yeah. have been people have been stabbed with broken bats okay yeah it's like splinters. so this guy had blood. like yeah blood gushing down his face and um he was an older fan and no uh, he went to the hospital but this was raised major alarm and uh the mets have already uh put up barriers on left down third base and uh, first baseline just you know high enough like six or seven feet high enough for those things to not happen yeah. because any any higher you can see the ball in midair like the ball should be like out there but i mean any lower any when a ball is you know that low you know it's fast because it's just how the trajectory is it's just that a line drop i know there's yeah, always a the problem though with like um, netting like fans yeah like especially behind yeah, yeah what uh like home plate uh netting behind the catcher 
Yeah. They, they used yeah. to not. They used to be real low, too. And those balls were still like like launched back and they say they can come off faster off the bat on a foul tip you know the ones where yeah. they just slice right off like yeah. uh melina yesterday um got hit do you see that one with melina yeah um, i heard about yeah he, sm- he, he got smacked once by a foul ball which yeah. shakes catcher up man i'm telling you it's i've been hit with a baseball with a catcher's mask on just to see what it feels like and it i'm telling you it's like a firecracker going off in your head and not only did he get hit once when the guy fouled it right into the side of his face mask, but he got hit twice in the, almost the same spot. He fouled it again in the next pitch. You gotta worry about stuff to like your skull too. Like yeah. That. So they took him out. He was a little dizzy, and they said he's got to come out. So they they took him out of the game there. But hopefully he's okay. It's dangerous stuff, man. It's baseball. When it comes to fans and stuff, there's a, there's been a big argument though now. Fans don't want it because it takes away from the whole baseball experience they're like what happened to baseball you know you can't sit on the left field line right field line catch a foul ball well not when it's going 100 mile an hour straight at you you know what i mean you're not going to catch it unless you have a glove and you're and you get lucky but do you want fans coming to your games i mean mean, you gotta have safety yeah so the mlb association is really uh looking into this right now after this horrible season for people getting hit i guess we'll talk about the playoffs coming up what teams we think are going to, well, that have already made the playoffs, and what teams we think will make the World Series. I'm a firm believer in the Indians winning the World Series. I don't know about you, but Clevenger, all them. I like the Dodgers, too. I, I like the Cubs. i got to admit, I like the Cubs more in the National League than the Dodgers, but I'm a firm believer in the Indians. Let's see what Logan's looking up here. MLB has a, MLB.com uh, has a uh, today's postseason picture. It's funny. It has a uh, bracket system, and it has World Series champions throughout 2017. Uh, so far, they have Dodgers as number one, winning the... That's just winning the um, NLDS, but the Nationals are going to play the Cubs. Is that the way that it's looking right now? Hold on a second. I just saw, I just saw yes, last night the Bryce Harper. They said he's, he, about him coming back, yeah. but it's like... He, they don't know if he's going to come back now for the postseason. Here we go. The AL East, the Red Sox, is in the lead by four games, which is a pretty uh, good lead right now because, I mean, the regular season's winding down by when? Next? This weekend. That's it. Yeah, yeah this, this weekend. weekend. This weekend's it. So they, Red Sox clinch it. Indians are going to clinch the Central and the West, the Astros, of course. The National, we have the Nationals in the East. Uh, Dodgers. They're way ahead. Cubs are uh, yeah, Cubs. I think like, they're six games ahead. I don't know if they clinched already. Yeah, the Dodgers like, are sure to win. Maybe. The Dodgers have the NOS. So, and Diamondback. What it's looking to be is Diamondbacks clinched too. Uh, yeah, I had to. I had a, a the bracket here. The Cubs are definitely going to beat the Nationals. Although baseball is very surprising, unpredictable the thing about baseball. Gotta love it. Rockies though, they have like a game maybe. Is it a game to clinch? Two games, maybe? Here we go. Postseason projections. The bracket here from MLB.com shows the, uh, well, of course, we've got the Cubs taking on the Nationals. Rockies against the Diamondbacks. And the Dodgers take on, of course, the winner of the Rockies and uh, Diamondbacks. So, what's your prediction for the wild card of the National League Division Series? Do you think the Rockies or the Diamondbacks will take it? My... I think that's the what is that the wild card game that would be that's yeah, projected yeah, wild card game. Yeah, I think Diamondbacks. You do? Yeah, I'm going Rockies, Rockies, man. Blackman is cranking the ball still. Story. So. Yeah. 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 So they have we yeah, have one of the top shortstops in in the league. So and Diamondbacks, Martinez, Goldschmidt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cubs. Uh, I don't know. Nationals and Cubs would be a good good series as long as they have Harper back and their pitching's healthy. Scherzer's been uh, killing it. I don't know about you, but I think the Cubs will. Repeat as mm. national champs. Are you sure? Do you yeah. think they're really going to win back to back? Like the famous, uh, or I should say, not famous, horrible San Francisco Giants. <laughs> then the Giants win back to back, 2011, 2012. I think it was it was every two years. It was like every, oh every yeah two yeah years, yeah like the every two years. Of the yeah. Year. But I, I'm not saying yeah. the Dodgers are overrated, but yeah. But I don't I, know, man. The Dodgers, <laughs> their offense is pretty good. I mean, yeah, Bellinger, but Peterson. When you have uh, Let's look at the American League. We have Boston going on against the Astros. Now, that's something. That's a game to watch when you have Boston taking on 
it, well, supposedly it was a top team for a while, but the Astros fell. I mean, the Astros, but, since they landed Verlander, they're just, they've been yeah, killing it. Pitching. Yeah. Um, but you have Altuve there. Yeah. Little guy cranking the ball, man. So you have the Twins taking on the Yankees. That'll be a good one. But what the about Yankees the, are, are the Angels? Wins. Does it say if the uh, Angels no, are on like, the outside? No, they're out. Uh, the wild card games between the Yankees and Twins. Um, That's projected, did. though, isn't it? You're right. This is projected. Uh, this is a postseason bracket. Yes, projection of... This is as of September 26th, though. MLB.com released this. They released this this morning. So, <laughs> the... The Indians probably will take on the Yankees, which will be a good that's good yeah. series. But I think it'll be the Indians. So I don't know. Judge, for, well, the American Judge. League Championship. My prediction is the Indians and the Astros. I would pay to pay to see that. Yeah, my National League prediction. I'm not guessing scores or anything because I don't do any of that because it's too hard. But if it was a billion dollar chance, and I'm gonna say. It's going to be the Indians and Astros, and the Indians are going to win it five. Well, I guess it is a series. I can't say, like, I'm not going to give all the scores of the game. It's too many. The Indians are going to win it. They're going to be in the World Series. All right? They didn't get to, or, yeah, they, they lost it last year. And, I mean, everybody <laughs> rooted for the Cubs. But, you know, that was an amazing comeback. I mean, I was, I mean it was one of the greatest I comebacks. I was on the Indians side it, for a while. Yeah, but, but that was one of the greatest comebacks in history of baseball. Not only was it one of the greatest comebacks from a, what, three-game deficit, yeah. it was greatest comeback by the worst team in baseball that came back 100 years later to win the World Series. Pretty cool. Couldn't ask for anything more. <laughs> nope. Like you couldn't ask for a better way to break the curse, is what I'm saying. So, for the National League, I'm going with the Cubs and ooh, Rockies and Dodgers, because the Rockies are going to be the Dodgers. That's my prediction. And then the Rockies and Dodgers. I'm going to say Rockies, man. They're going to win that series. I know nice. Dodgers probably nice. win. but It would I'll, be nice to see a team like the Rockies. Yeah, Somebody that's what I'm saying. Yeah, finally yeah. it's going to be the Cubs and the Rockies. Like the Cubs. And I hate to vote against Cubs, but I think the Rockies, I want them to take taking them. the Rockies. Yeah, so I'm taking, taking the Rockies. Rockies. I'm taking the Indians and the Rockies this year for the World Series. So you're saying the Rockies are going to win the World Series then? Uh, it'll be a heck of a series. I think they'll be tied up the whole way through. I think it'll be 3-3. Three and three. And I think who's going to take game four will be the Rockies. I'm going with Rockies. Rockies all the way. They're I'm just, not saying they're just I, one of those teams, man. You just want to see. I'm not saying I couldn't they see that happen, there, but you know? they, they have the offense story. and. Okay, it will be nice to see the Diamondbacks, too. Diamondbacks deserve it, too. I mean, is Gold Rockies, Sh- though. Is Goldschmidt injured, or is he, is he coming back? Um, I saw something the other day about that. Yeah, I'll tell you. When Harper comes back, I'll add, I, was, I, was, I saw – on MLB Network this morning that um, they said they showed a statistics on the how the Nationals do with Bryce Harper. I mean, no matter what you say about him, he's a heck of a ball. He's a heck of a hitter is what he is. Yeah. He, for the runs scored, they have like a four point, I don't even know where their points come in at, but it's like a 4.2 average um, with him, right? And then it's like a, a 2.8 or 2.9 average without him. So with him, they have percentage boost of runs but they did win yeah, but with them it's really about their pitching though they have Scherzer and Strasburg yeah, I, know. And I know they their pitching's Zimmerman. healthy their pitching's really healthy what's up with uh Kershaw what about the Dodgers Kershaw's okay right that's what that's that's one of the main reasons why I don't think the Dodgers are going to go because go to the World Series Kershaw's not completely like healthy yeah and when Kershaw is healthy he's a Kershaw is a uh he's a playoff pitcher and when you have playoff pitchers you win you know playoffs when it comes down to playoffs in baseball it's all about have, it's all about pitching. your defeat it's all about your defense but your hitting is what am i saying here when Secondary. it comes down to postseason hitting's last okay yeah it, it it matters you score runs but guess what when it comes down to postseason it's all your pitching and defense now pitching is probably the most important when it comes down to post if you don't have pitchers you're, you're screwed i mean it's good it's good to have it's, a second starter too like Darvish. regular season it's yeah because you have everybody at your disposal but when it comes down to playoff man you rely on few people and they have to be healthy because they pitch probably two or three times a week sometimes yeah some pitch back to back nights man and that's only if they last like maybe a few innings and then they come yeah. back but i'm trying to look up an injury report is he is he still on the dl 
Goldschmidt? I no, uh, Kershaw. Kershaw. Yeah, I think he's back. Cause what um, was his injury? It was a back back injury. Yeah, he was on a ten day DL. That's all it was. It was a back injury. But I don't think he's completely healthy yet right now. But they need him to be because he's he's a playoff pitcher. Yeah. Yeah. So especially if like let's say Nationals win uh, over there in the National League, if they take on the Dodgers, then that'll be a heck of a pitching duel. You got Scherzer, Kershaw, Strasburg, and Zimmerman, Z- Zimmerman. Darvish. Yes, Darvish. You Darvish is Long. he's probably. And then yeah. you got. Harper against Bellinger and Peterson. Yeah. MLB.com says um, the manager, Dave Roberts, he, he said he gave the most optimistic picture ever that he's on a 10-day disabled list, but he's going to come back healthy as ever. He has a lower back strain, but um, he has a disc and not a reoccurrence of the disc current. Remember he had a herniation, disc herniation? Yeah, di- it's never good that to was, have a, never no. good to have a disc. Yeah, because then, you, then you're not going to be able to, you can pitch, but you'll never hit your 100% mark. Yeah. But other than that, they have you Darvish. Um, he says every team in baseball would want you Darvish. That's easy. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah, that was probably one of the best uh, picks Dodgers got. Was was it this season or? Yeah, it was this season. Yeah, he traded from uh, the Texas. It seems like most teams that are getting pitchers in trades. It's not about hitters anymore. It's about That's you gotta have it's a pitching game, man. It's pitching, it's pitching. Well, it's this close to the season uh, deadline is season, yeah. the postseason. You like yeah, when you get close, everybody to the wants playoffs, those pitchers. Yep. You gotta have the pitchers. Yep. So when it comes down to it, my World Series prediction is the Indians taking on the Colorado Rockies. Let's go through mine now. Okay, what's what's yours? NL DS. I have the Dodgers CS, where I have the Cubs beating the Dodgers. ALDS, I have the Indians and the Astros coming out like okay. you. All right. NLDS, or the NLCS, okay. Dodgers Cubs. I have, well, I already said the Cubs winning. And then ALCS, Indians Astros. I got to go with the Indians. All right. So you think it's, gonna, it's a repeat Indians. of the last year World Series? Indians Cubs once again. Wow. Who do you think will take it this time? It's going to go seven games. Did it go seven games last year? Yeah, because remember the Cubs had to come back from us. It's going to go seven games again. Indians come out top. All right. They had a 22-game win streak. Yeah, They I deserved know. a win. <laughs> yeah, but they still didn't beat the all-time record, though, man. So that's our predictions for baseball this season. See how it plays out. And yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see. And if I'm starts. right, if I'm right, you have to wear my Atlanta Braves shirt for a whole week. I, I guess I can agree to that. <laughs> yeah. Rockets. A whole solid week every day. You have to be a, a strong Atlanta Braves fan for a whole week, man. That's cool. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's not cool because they suck. So You're just saying your it. team sucks. Yeah, I will. I'm not afraid to admit it, man. I'm not I afraid mean. to wear a Braves jersey. <laughs> so, but that was our podcast. This is Logan. This is Chase. Yeah, thanks for tuning in and uh, listening to us rant about Whatever. Useless baseball. Yeah. This was baseball predictions. That, that was just pr- baseball predictions. Thanks for listening to baseball predictions. Yeah. See you guys.